What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to episode three of the forecast. Yes, it's another day, another episode, right, guys? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Happy Friday, everybody. Yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the forecast Fridays um, and the consistent content we've been putting out. It's been fun. Um, yeah, how we doing today, guys? A little tired, but happy to be yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I feel that right now. Yeah, me too. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sleep on Sunday. Dude, yeah, I slept in really late today. <laughs> yeah. Sunday's like that day where you sleep in, I feel like. Yeah. And catch up, yeah. 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 I still have homework to do today. <laughs> that's, oh, no. That's, tr- that's, that's tough. Mm, so gross. That's tough. But, um, yeah, so we hope you guys have been enjoying the consistent content we've been pumping out. We got, um... I think we got one more intro video coming out Tuesday, which is Fluidities. So that'll be dope. Yeah. Um, so stay on the lookout for that. And make sure you watch all the content. Catch up on your favorite your favorite network, Fourth Reserve, <laughs> favorite uh, favorite TV channel. But um, So um, today we thought we would uh, bring a little, little... You know, last week we talked about music. Um, and we're kind of trying to give a little insight into what we're all about. So, you know... Keep, Keo, Jacob, me, not so much Jason anymore, but in the past, we all had a history with gaming, so we thought this week we would, uh, we would talk a little bit about, about like, what our, what our history of gaming is, our relationship with gaming, and all that stuff, um, and then talk a little bit about, um, Vanguard and stuff like that, because Call of Duty, you know, big in, big in the forearm, so, um, oh, yeah. yeah, if anyone wants to start, kind of give their little background on gaming you know well i guess i'll i'll just jump in considering that's <laughs> kind of like where i stand with yeah, a lot of yeah. uh, the fourth reserve stuff but um i don't even know i i actually used to hate video games mm-hmm. oddly enough i like i never really got into them at a young age i never really had that like game that like got me like going like i feel like everyone talks about that one game that just like like changes their life yeah but i never really had that like Oddly enough, I actually hated Call of Duty, because I, I was I was so bad at it. Like I just did not want to like waste my time playing it. Mm-hmm. And then um, I kind of it was 2012 around. That's when Black Ops 2 came out. I played Modern Warfare 2, and that was the game that I hated. I like it now, but back then I didn't like it. And uh, I had a friend tell me like, "Dude, you got to pre-order Black Ops 2. It's gonna be amazing." <laughs> and I was like, "I don't know, man." Like. I just don't really like COD. Like, I don't know. So I, I finally pulled the trigger and decided to get it. From day one of Black Ops 2 on, my life changed. Like, that is, I mean, that game literally changed everything. Like, I played that game so much, learned about competitive in that game, and then just kind of, like, kept taking strides every year. And I really only played COD ever since then. I mean, like, I didn't really have any other games that I really, like, enjoyed, besides a few, but, I mean, Black Ops 2, kind of like that one game that just set it off for me. Yeah, it was, it was like that one, we all had that game where you get home from school, have a little snack, and then you just play video games until freaking yeah. bedtime, basically. <laughs> exactly, yeah, but then, like, Sky, some people had it at such a young age, like, they were playing when they were, like, five years old, like, I just didn't care about video games back then. One day it just changed. That's a dope story. Yeah, yeah. like well, it's a good game. So, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, legendary. Dude, Absolutely. Black Ops Two is goaded. I I think well we'll get into our top games, but later. But like Black Ops Two is so goaded. But also one of the only games I ever played zombies in. I didn't play oh, zombies in really any other COD besides that yeah. one. Dude, the town map, the town ta- like I love yeah. town. On that game, yeah. yeah, I didn't like transit though. I didn't either. I liked the town one, but I didn't like transit. But yeah, or black Black Ops One zombies was fire too, and the, the Cold yeah. War. Zombies. Oh yeah. The, what, did you guys play the Cold War zombies? I actually I did a little bit. I actually didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty fun. It was all right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you're not a zombies guy. Well, no, just I I didn't like Cold War zombies just because it was like. 
it was way too much. I I like the originals, the OG. Least, you know. OG, yeah, yeah that's, that's where I started. Fair. I feel like they did they did make start to make it a little too complicated. I feel like. Yeah, no, I think it's just, I was late to the party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I've never been a big zombies guy, so. I, when it comes to COD for me, bro, my, I just like quick scoping. Jason got me in a quick scoping way, yeah. dude, in your basement playing. I think it was Bo One, and <laughs> we used to do the uh, the throwing knife cross maps. Yeah. That was so fun. Way more, to, way more fun to do that casually, but like it's when you try it to quick scope and you try to like do really well, it's hard sometimes. Cause, yeah. I don't know. You just get gunned down by the good players. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I've I've always the sniping is definitely one of my like top three favorite things to just do yeah. in general. Like as far as competitive goes, I've always been like S and like sniper and S and D for us for I can't like even remember how long it's been, but yeah, I mean this year snipers got banned though because they were too easy to use. Oh, and competitive. Oh, okay. competitive. Sure, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that kind of sucked. I think I got a full year of not being able to snipe, but that sucks. Right. It's so wet. It's a whack rule. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. Huh. That is frustrating. Yeah, that is. As far as that goes, though, I think uh, an outlier in games, and I, Brett, you'll agree with me on this. Minecraft is undoubtedly like the the only game that I would like stop playing COD for would be Minecraft. Dude, t- mm-hmm. Minecraft is goaded. Minecraft is revolutionary. Revolutionary. I don't, really care what, I don't care what anyone tells me. Like, I'll, I will never stop playing Minecraft. <laughs> Same. <laughs> like, hey guys, that after game's this, amazing. After this extra pack? Play Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, seriously. Nah, dude, Fluidity was talking about doing, like, a little series, I don't know, on his channel yeah. or this channel. It's like, a mi- maybe we could start a Minecraft oh, yeah. world. Like, the 4-hour yeah, yeah. Minecraft world. Leave a I'd comment. Do Leave yeah. a comment if you want to see that. That'd be funny. That would be, that'd be super, super fun. That'd be fun. That'd be easy. Easy to yeah. that'd be easy for me to play. It's just on a computer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's PC or nothing when it comes to Minecraft. Uh, actually, yeah. console's pretty good. I like actually. PS4. I've yeah. A lot. yeah, PS4 and Xbox One. Both pretty, I started pretty good. I, I started playing on PC when I that was like the, the oh, only PC game I ever played was Minecraft. I never yeah, knew you here. played Minecraft. I never even knew that. That's hilarious. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody, my, everybody, my best friends, plays Minecraft. Yeah, my best friends were like, that's all they played. So I was just like, what? Like I don't even know what. They I decided I'd start playing, and I fell in love with it. Dude. But literally, the only game that I would like be COD for. Dude, I feel hey, like good. Jacob can agree with Minecraft. Well, maybe not Jacob. You're kind of more of a consistent crafter but for me <laughs> for me dude i feel like it's one of those games that's like a huge comes in phase phases yeah. like dude, oh, during, during quarantine i was like really oh, into yes. minecraft oh, yes. and then now i haven't played minecraft in a minute but i know there's gonna be a, i'm gonna get the itch again and then i'm gonna be addicted to minecraft again that's how that game yeah. went. It's, it comes I'm in gonna expose, i'm gonna expose my friends and i right now like Two or three years ago, it, it was like three years ago, we we got in this phase of playing Minecraft for like 16 hours a day, just like not getting off, like <laughs> Dude, only playing crazy. Minecraft. It was during 4th of July, so instead of going to see actual fireworks, we set them off in Minecraft. Oh um, my we, like, gosh. During, <laughs> I love during, it. During 4th of July, we decided to do that instead of going out. <laughs> One of the saddest things I've ever done, but also, like, in the moment, it was amazing. Yeah, I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. That's like the Travis Scott concert in Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, literally. Exactly what it is. Oh, Lord. That's funny. Okay, but creative or survival? Good question. I do, I do both, but yeah, if, if I'm weird. not going, like, so hard and I just want to build cool stuff, I'm creative, which, like, a lot of times that's what it's like. But also... Yeah. I like having a survival world with, like, a good amount of people. Yeah. Sometimes sure. by myself, it gets, like, boring, and I just, yeah. like, I don't know. But Yeah. Yeah, I would say, I would say for me, I'd probably go for creative. Like, over, like, I like, I play both, but, like, creative's dope. You can, like, make it, me and Jacob really like making cities back in the day, and, like, we actually started oh, yeah. working on a city again, but then, you know, the phase fizzled, fizzled out. <laughs> what's your, what's your <laughs> greatest creation? Dude, probably uh, 
one of my hotels. I shout out Ryan Gregory if you're watching this. <laughs> Me and him made a uh, huge hotel. It was dude. Every room was like interior, finished, furnished. It took us what? like months. So or the city. <laughs> the city was dope. It had a highway months. system. <laughs> Bro, I made uh, PNC Park where the pirates oh, play. Wow. Whoa! And then cool. I, made I made a the Golden Gate too. Bridge. I remember. Oh. Two, I remember Those Jason's two field. I made. Oh, that's very that's sad. OG. Jacob's that's probably got something crazy, dudes. Crazy. Dude, I don't. I don't know. I just usually build random stuff, and I kind of like give up on it halfway through. I'm just like, holy crap! I made it way too big. <laughs> Dude, do you like, remember your castle? But I, yeah, I feel like that's one of my biggest ones that I've done. Like w that world when we played on your PS4 yeah. for that summer. Dude, we, yeah. we, we had the same phase as Airborne, where we were like Bro. just playing every Shut day. Up. Just, yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Alex Juicy, by the way. That kid, oh, Alex yeah. Juicy, made the greatest castle in my. <laughs> ever seen in my entire life like three years ago four years ago it was it was the most unbelievable thing i've ever seen <laughs> that's awesome i love that yeah. trillion blocks dude we ran out of like banners in the world because you use so many <laughs> dude i oh, can't man. believe some of them be doing like a big popular thing was speed runs minecraft speed run to see how yeah. fast you could beat the game that's just oh, like yeah. mind-boggling to me like that doesn't seem fun to me like i'd be stressed yeah and that's just not my thing yeah, no, I feel like it's, like, really random for, like, a speed run. You can't, like, you just gotta get lucky. Dude, I feel like Minecraft is more of a chill game anyway. Like, I wouldn't want to, yeah. like... Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what makes it funny for the viewers, that, like, the, the players are stressing out the whole time. Yeah, so they're yeah. Just, like, yeah. trying yeah. to figure stuff Most out. Likely. No, I can for see sure. that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah, we definitely gotta do a server, though, on Minecraft, for sure. Down. Be lit for yeah. our server. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I want to hear, um... I want to hear... Jacob, I want to hear your history of gaming because I know you're you're big into gaming too. Dude, uh, I have like a weird history with gaming. I like, I started off with like, did you guys ever play any of those computer like point and click games, like like so. Pajama Sam? Does anyone remember yes. that? One? Yes. Yeah, dude. I was like, that was one of the first like games I played, and then I just from there it's just like, I think the the first one I actually like really fell in love with was like Lego Star Wars when I was like really young. Oh yeah. I hope you guys have all played it, but it's it's one of the classics. Um, and then from there, it kind of like I I was like I wasn't really into COD for a long time until Black Ops Two came out. Mm -hmm. Like I I played zombies and I played regular. Um, I think it was it just Modern Warfare that I played, um, or it, it may have been MW Four too, but I honestly don't. Or three. I honestly don't remember. It was a while ago. Uh, yeah. But but then from there, I kind of just, like, started playing, like, other FPS games. Like, Overwatch, I played in, like, a semi-pro um, semi league. And we just... I met some, like, pretty fun dudes. Like, one of my buddies from Canada, the, like, I still hang out with. But just from there, I just, like, found a love for, like, FPS games. Like, Apex and then Warzone and then just... Now I just play pretty much anything that that I can get my hands on and just like try it out. So that's pretty much all my history is. <laughs> it's dope. Love it, love it for sure. Um, you're you were you big you're big into the Apex now, right? Yeah. No. If well, I was into Apex like when it first came out because Terry was like talking like hyping it up for a long yeah. time. Like he. I know Terry. He he like. <laughs> He was following it like months and months before it like came out, and he was like, "When it came out, we just played a ton of it, and it was it was a lot more fun because it was like it was kind of like the same feeling when you guys like like when everyone started playing Fortnite, where it was like a really fast pace and like yeah. this is a brand new game, but it wasn't like super new, so it was it was pretty fun to play from then, and then I just kind of like passively played competitive on it, like not or not like ranked is what yeah. it's, what it's called, I think so. Yeah. So just to try and get as good as I can, but it's a pretty fast paced game, so for sure. Yeah, that's what I like about it. I think Apex is a pretty good game, but I'm not very good at it to be honest. I just don't really put enough time into it to be good at it. But oh, yeah. I I like how fast paced it is. It makes it more fun to watch also. Yeah, yeah Nick, no, Nick Merch. Nick Merch plays it. Oh yeah, he's crazy. Yeah. Um yeah, I mean Hammer, you wanna so your history, I know you got a long history. <laughs> history, uh, dude. 
I don't know, like, I think the first time I remember ever playing video games is kind of similar to, like, what Jacob said. I forget what the game was called, but, yeah, just a bunch of, like, computer games. There was even, yeah. like, construction construction games that I played that, like, you'd oh, yeah. set up, like, stuff. It's, like, kind of like Lego, like, build, build a world, but it was Zoo like, Tycoon. before any of that was even out. Is that what? What do you call it? I, I played know. Zoo Tycoon growing up. <laughs> I, mean, I don't remember the names, dude. It's been oh, so yeah. long, but I just remember sitting on my parents' computer playing the oh, games yeah. for like. I remember the. Long I remember been. the names, but not the games. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I just remember how it looked. Me I too. remember That's everything how I of how it looked. Yeah. yeah. No, it's That's like, so funny. It's so blurry back then. Yeah, but. I didn't really, I think I just played those mostly because my parents wanted me to because it was like learning type games. So you like kind of have to comprehend and like understand yeah. where stuff is. But the first game I played like for fun that like started to get into more Call of Duty type stuff was when my brothers were invited to one of their friends house and I came with too. And they played, they played Modern Warfare for the first time and I was three years younger than them and I was still was like getting into it too and like I probably shouldn't have played it because I don't know how old I was. Maybe, <laughs> third, maybe twelve or thirteen, maybe. But that, I think that's when Modern Warfare Two was out. But then I fell in love with that game. It's just like I just remember playing Terminal, and that's it. Like mm -hmm. I just remember playing on Terminal, Terminal, and being like, "This game is one of the coolest games I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I just that's funny, dude. You said it. Modern Warfare Two. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I so I would go to like a buddy's house and we'd play like split screen two. Same. <laughs> dude, I always had to be on like the best kids team because I was the worst player there. And then, <laughs> and then, fast forward years later, and I'd go through a whole career of playing competitive. Yeah, God, like, what the you never, you've never stopped. Yeah. Yeah, it's like what the heck. That's how it goes. You just probably liked it more than they did too, right? Yeah, dude, I just figured out what competitive was, and I was like, holy shit, I can win money off of this. Yeah, like, yeah, that's so, pretty dope. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember countless times playing like Modern Warfare three and Brett's Basement two. Oh my that was, god! I remember those days. That's crazy. Oh my but, god! On that big hunk yeah. TV. That yeah, thing. the box TV. Dude, Hell it yeah. used to go out. I kid you not. It used to just go out black screen, and I used to just have to <laughs> bang on the. You guys, <laughs> I used to just have to bang on it, and it would come back uh, on. I'm sure Jacob uh, and Jason remember that, but like, dude, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I forgot about that. That brought up a memory I forgot about. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Dude, That's amazing. Do you remember? Do you remember what your first ever like setup looked like? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It was awful. <laughs> it was so dude. bad. I have a picture of mine. I made sure to take a picture of it. Yeah. And like in the bottom corner, there's a whole like twelve pack of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. <laughs> like I was grinding back then, dude. It's like it was probably like Black Ops Three, Advanced Warfare, something like that. Where I was first like really getting good at the game, and that dude, I would like pop like three of those and then just like <laughs> grind for like twelve hours straight. Like I just did not care. That was oh, the best man. times, dude. One best times. One time I was playing Bo Two with some with some friends, and it was like a Friday. I was so addicted, and you could hear they could hear across the mic my dad screams, "All right!" And he was being dead serious because he knew how long I played. He goes, "All right, you have eight more hours left of playing," and my friends were like. Eight hours, they're like, yeah, because he knows, like, I'm not getting off. So he's got to, like, set a big margin. Eight hours, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. But yeah. but I guess I could I could say a little of my history. It's nothing too crazy. Just kind of the casual. I'm more of a casual gamer. That, that's that's what I am. Yeah, we realized it. But um, I'd say growing up, my cousin's huge gamer. Like, dude, this guy's got a huge game room, like a billion games. He's like a collector. So he kind of got me into it. And then I think my first console was a GameCube. And like Jacob, Lego Star Wars was my was my bomb.com. I love that game. Um, Super Smash Bros. Um, just a ton of those games. And then, you know, Call of Duty. I think... I got first introduced to Call of Duty by, um, like, kind of like Keo. It was Modern Warfare 2 split screen at, shout out KJ Choi if you're watching this. But yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was at his crib. And then after that, BO1 at Jason's crib. But my mom would never let me get it. I, like, I couldn't get it. So I didn't actually get to own ACOD until MW3. And I fell in love with that. I, people, like, don't love it, like, that much. But I loved MW3 because it was kind of my first grind COD. Uh, but then from there, I kind of just 
you know, I played 2K, I played COD, but, like, it was really, I really kind of always gravitated towards COD. It's kind of my go-to, even with Warzone now. And uh, Fortnite, I had a little stint, but COD. And, like, every time I play, I'm like, dude, if I really work that, I could get really good at this, but it's just, I just don't have time, so. But, yeah, that's kind of my history, I would say. But COD, COD is definitely my favorite, like, or Super Smash Bros. currently is, like, those are my two faves. I have a question. For, uh, for you guys, if you guys have looked up anything about Vanguard, like, I want to hear your guys' thoughts first before I say anything. But, because, well, I don't know. Well, okay. I mean, I at first I wasn't, like, really excited for it, and then Brett kind of, like, talked to me about it and, like, told me how... Because he looked a lot more into it than I have, but if, it, if it's going to be, like, as good, and I heard the beta was really good. I haven't seen anything about the beta yet, but... I saw the trailer and and if they do World War II, that's one of the best eras I feel like. And as long as they do it right, that it, it can be pretty good. So if they use the, they're using the same like game engine as uh, Warzone, aren't they? Yeah, or uh, as a, Modern Warfare. It's the same as engine. Modern Warfare. Okay, yeah, no, and that was that was one of my favorites. So I'm I think it'll be pretty good, but we'll see if it lives to the hype. Is what I I think. See, like what I hear is like. If they do it right, like I've been asking my like that question for for a while now. I don't. Yeah, it's like every year it just seems like I'm gonna play it no matter what. Yeah. But yeah. I don't. I don't know. Personally, I'm not gonna say anything good or anything bad because I'm sick of doing that. And like I love COD. I'll always love COD. But like, I know that three months in, at this point, three months in, it's just gonna be the same story. Well, dude, that one stops playing, and then it goes to a different like. I don't know. Uh, World War Two itself, the call, the Call of Duty World War Two. I'll get this out of the way. Was the worst Call of Duty ever created. In my opinion, I agree with that. I hated that game. I could not play. Dude, honestly, Cold War Two. I didn't like Cold War this year at all. See, I, I actually, I actually did like Cold War, but I, I just think like I could, well, like we're kind of opposite though. Because didn't you like Modern Warfare? Yeah, that's why. That's why so, I'm hyped for yeah. World War Two because they're using the same engine. But like I'm hearing, it's just kind of like a reskin. Like Modern Warfare that's, reskin is World War Two. That's exactly what I was thinking. And like I, I'm not a big fan of the tactical sprint stuff. I think it makes the game like too clunky. The doors. Instead of just keeping it at the normal Call of Duty gameplay, like it should be. Yeah, so, I don't, I don't like I don't doors know. either. Doors are so bad. Like I don't know what, what's the point of a door in a Call of Duty. Like for yeah. someone to camp. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, We're taking notes for Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. literally. Just sit there and relax. Yeah. You can't behind Close the door. door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard, I've been hearing broken. bad things. I've been hearing bad things about, like, even the alpha I heard, like, the audio was, like, yeah, messed up. Audio. And the, yeah. how it how it looked, too, was, like, grainy. I was like, mm-hmm. uh-oh. Like, next exactly. gen, and it's, like, grainy. The, that's that's not issue. good. Ooh. When I heard it was going back to World War II, I was like, oh, my God, dude. Uh, no. Yeah, kind of me too. Me too. Because because I hate a black it. hole for money now. Yeah, that's why I feel like they could do mm. a World War Two game right. I think it'd be, it's like like Jacob said, it could be a great era to do it. It's just if you make it dull, like World War Two was, like it's just not gonna be a fun game. Yeah, like the yeah. colors, bro. You gotta have nice colors. Like, yeah. yeah. Just Either way, I'm lucky because competitive is always better than public match or just regular like casual players. Like playing competitive. Has, has always saved a Call of Duty for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, Infinite Warfare, for example. Most people hated that game, but I actually really liked that game because I thought competitive was, like, a blast. Like, mm-hmm. I actually loved playing it. Like, I was happy to get on play that game. Like, yeah. Yeah, but everyone hated that game. Dude, I didn't even play that one. I just played... I know, I played... I grinded yeah. with Jason. We. I think this was the last COD Jason played. It was yeah. Modern Warfare Infinite Remastered. War. Yeah. Yeah, I really that's kind of why. That's kind of why no one really played Infinite Warfare yeah. anyway, because the remaster was so good. Like it took over COD for that year. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I prefer, like, I preferred playing Infinite Warfare almost because I just like the competitive aspect to it. And also, I'm a jetpacker. I will always admit. Yeah, that. I actually kind of like it too a little bit. Like it's a little different. Like it's kind of fun. I don't know. Like adds a little more, more, like pizzazz to the game. It's not just the same thing every time, but. Um, yeah, I was thinking now we could segue into the question of the day. Today it is Keo with the question. Yes, yes it is. Um, well, it kind of goes along with what we're talking about. Um, 
and uh, kind of brought it up earlier. Um, just it's really simple. Just top five favorite games of all time individually. Top five favorite games. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be like a PS4 game or like whatever it is. It could be like the first game you've ever played on the PC yeah. on a PC. Like literally any top five favorite game of all time. Mm-hmm. If you want me to go first, I can, but I kind of want to hear your guys' first. I might have to think about it first. So. Fine. I yeah. got some, if you want me to go. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And go ahead. All right. So, first one is just kind of like, the ge- like I'm going to put it first because it's the game I played the most and the game I had the most enjoyment out of, so it makes the most sense. It's uh, Black Ops 2. So, mm-hmm. it's just going to hold its spot there probably for forever. Honestly, yeah. I don't know. If I, unless I unless there's a game that I play more than that, then we'll see. But second one is the first love, which is going to be Modern Warfare Two, and then my third spot is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Oh, if anyone knows that. about that game, mm. that is a great game. You like love a good that. game. I remember that. Love to be in. I like that pick. I like yeah. that pick right there. Yeah, I got another one for you after after at the five spot, but. Hot Pursuit, great game. Always be the cop because, I don't know, it's fun <laughs> to smash into the racers, bro. I don't know. Racing's fun, too, but it's fun to, like, smash some cars because it's, like, demolition. Yeah. But And then my fourth one is Need for Speed Most Wanted, which I really like because it's kind of... Okay, yes. okay, Ryan, Ryan knows what's up. That's the but, game right there. Dude, that <laughs> That's one's the good. Game. It's, like, a mixture between GTA and just, like, a car game. So like it's a yeah. there's a world and you get I love that game. a ton of different cars and you can go wherever you want, dude. I don't know That's Ryan awesome. what your favorite car was, but I used like a pick. I used the Ford Raptor. Yeah, it's that's one of the cars I up. want. No, my favorite car of all time comes from that game, that Lexus really? LFA. Ooh, it's my favorite car a, of all time, and it gets because of Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's a yeah. really exclusive car, dude. Those are like yeah. so limited. They have none of those anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool car. It sounds dope, too. Uh, dude, my last one is going to be I don't know if any of you guys have heard of this, but it's a mobile app game called Donut Games Action Hero. Donut so, Games? I don't know if you know I Donut think Games. I know what you're talking about. I Donut think Games I made like Rat Scooter and like Skateboard Rat or whatever. Oh, and you like okay. hop. Up the thing, and it's like a it's an infinity game. You could play. It's like it's just it's like Temple a Run consistent type of rhythm. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly yeah. like Temple Run. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shout out everyone who knows Action Hero. I'm 61st in the world <laughs> global, so you know. Wow, hey. that's how we do it. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Predator <laughs> here. Hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a good list. Yeah, that's fire. That's a fire list. It's very, very, very unique. And I remember you played. You played Need for Speed. Like you, I think you made a few videos on it. Like a did, way yeah. back. Yeah, in high school. I'm like so happy you brought Need for Speed, man. I had That's to, dude. Awesome. That's one of my faves. I love Need for Speed. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Gran Turismo is good too, but I played yeah. that one. I think. I yeah, that, one. that one's fun too. Yeah, but yeah. All right, cool Jake, games. Jacob, let's hear you. Are you ready now, or you need more time? Yeah. Um. I guess, okay, so for my list, it's, like, kind of the franchises, but, like, I'll, I'll give a specific, my favorite from each franchise, too. So, like, to start off, it's Lego Star Wars. Just nostalgia it just takes it away. And after that, I'd have to say Minecraft, just because I've played that game to death, like, throughout the years, and I, like... My my cousins told me about it like before it was in the beta version, but I started playing in the beta version, and it was it was just a a long process of me just like slowly going in waves of oh I'm gonna play this game for 16 hours a day and then and then like give it up for a couple months and then go back to it when I'm feeling it again and then uh, I'd have to say after that the Legend of Zelda series, but my favorite out of that series was probably like Majora's Mask, that just because one. it was like one of the first to go with like t- time travel and, and like you're just constantly repeating a cycle. I just thought it was a pretty cool concept. Um, and that, so that's three. Uh, fourth, probably Apex Legends, just because that's like one of mine I can consistently like go back to. Like I can give it a break for a bit and then just play it and love it again. Uh, and then probably the Assassin's Creed franchise, just because I love those like stories and how they like mess around with history a bit. And it, it's like a pretty cool, pretty cool franchise. But out of that, probably Black Flag was my favorite. 
they did a really good job with that one. So that's my top five. Okay. Yeah. Pretty nice. diverse. I like that. Yeah. I like that. We got we got some we got some similarities too in, in our lists too. Um, oh wait wait. I also, Smash is like probably tied with Assassin's Creed just because Smash is also one I can go back to. Yeah. But right, what were you gonna say? Sorry. No, I wasn't gonna say anything. But I'll, I guess I'll just go next. Um, speaking of Smash, shout out my cousin if you're watching this. He I didn't even tell Keo or Jason, but he got. Like, literally the other day, I went over to their house. It was last Sunday. And he's like, yo, I got something for you. And I come downstairs. The dude bought me a Nintendo Switch with Super Smash. Like extra oh. DLC characters. And, and like, the free online or whatever. And I was just like, what the hell? So now <laughs> yeah, well. I can play Smash on my own time. Because, dude... I don't know that that's I'm gonna segue into my point here was one of my top games is Smash Super Smash Bros whether that be Melee I actually like Brawl and uh, the Ultimate and um, I don't know it's just my childhood growing up and then recently me and Jacob started playing it again and I got pretty damn we got we got pretty damn good over this last year I'm not like we're not we're not amazing but like we're pretty damn good I would say for yeah, um, fun games yeah and. I hope to stream some Super Smash soon because I think that'd be kind of dope. Um, so yeah, that's one of my tops, and then I would the next one I'd say also Lego Star Wars just because childhood. And me and Jacob, one summer it was like a few summers ago we were like, dude, let's just try and hundred percent this game. And I don't know if we ever finished. I think we might have, but that was fun. We were like grown up playing it again. Um, and next, I got Black Ops 2, just like Jason. Um, that game, I just, I don't know, man. That I feel like it's just one of the best of all time. I, Black Ops 2 and MW2 are my faves. Um, and then Minecraft, of course. Minecraft, got to put that up there. So many hours put into that. Um, and then I, I kind of have a tie for my last spot. It, I have, I don't know if any of you have played, you PS4 players may have. Uh, but the Uncharted series with Nathan Drake, that series is sick. It's like a movie, playing a movie. Um, love that series. Uh, but I would say that that's probably tied with 2K. Like, 2K, like, I, I know the game's kind of crap now, and it's, like, very boring and the same thing every year. But, like, I don't know. It's something I usually end up playing every year, so 2K, too. But, yeah, that's my list. Nice. nice. I like it. Yes, sir. Awesome. Um, well, I'll move into mine then. Uh, I, I have two honorable mentions before I get to my actual list. One, this one's really specific. MLB The Show 2011. <laughs> I, specific. <laughs> very specific. That game, I, I was on my PS3. I grinded that game pretty hard, actually. Like, I actually really like that game. Like, just, I, I feel like the MLB The Show games now are really, like, they're good, but, like, they're almost, like, too over the top sometimes. And that game was so, like basic that it was so fun that it was like one of those types of games yeah. and then also i think one of the greatest video games ever made i don't care what anyone says is grand theft auto 5 mm -hmm. gta 5 is like incredible so i'll give an honorable mention to that i, I played that game a lot too gta and i always had fun on it because you never really you could you could either play it like super competitively and like actually try to get like all the cash and whatever you have to do missions and all that or you could just have fun on it so GTA 5, definitely a great game. But for my top five, number one, I mean, everyone kind of saw this coming. Black Ops 2, yeah. like, easily. Like, there's, there's, no, there's nothing I have to say. Black Ops 2 is just <laughs> greatest game ever made. Like, no one will ever change my mind on that. Like, God, I just wish that game was, like, the kind I could play right now. Yeah. Like, I, I love that game to death. Um, number two would probably be Minecraft. Another one that's just... That's without saying, it's just a fantastic game. Could really do you. I mean, you. It's one of those games where you sit down and then you like it's sit down at eight in the morning and you look at your phone and it's ten at night. It's just one of those games. Like, yeah, it, it, that is so true, dude. That is like yeah. that is you just grind it for like no reason. Like you just it puts you in your own world, there. dude. You yeah, yeah, exactly. Literally, so, just like GTA too. That's why I think Minecraft, oh, yeah. like being able to create a game that does that to someone. Is like not easy to do, yeah. and I think that they've killed it for years now and years to come. I think too. 
something about like why I think that games like GTA and Minecraft are like that. And I think it's because you have so there's people who hate these games too, you know, right? Yeah. But the people who really like these games are people who like to use their imagination, right? Yeah. So they right. can make right. something out of kind of like kind of nothing, nothing, right? Yeah. So yeah. right. So that's yeah. Minecraft. Minecraft starts with a blank slate and you have to kind of do your own thing. So once you get locked into doing what you want to do, you're not you're not moving for the rest right. of the night. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think GTA is similar too. GTA is similar in that way too because you start with literally nothing. You're living on the street, but it doesn't. The thing is, like, it doesn't take two days to make yourself the richest guy there. Like, it takes a long time yeah. to yeah. get to that point, point. and that's why I think GTA is a really good game too. Also, they update the hell out of that game, so like, True. there's always stuff to do in that game. Dude, it's been but, out for like so long now. When you when you really look at yeah. it, it's like I think. It really has been, and people still are grinding it. Like that's the thing. It's the same thing with Minecraft. Both of those games. Um, but number three, I'd probably go with uh, Modern Warfare Two. Even though I I hated it before, I've learned to just love that game. Also, it just like I I hated it for the wrong reason. It's just because I couldn't get a kill. So like, (laughs) anyone's not gonna like a game if you can't get a kill. Mm -hmm. Like as far as COD goes, so. I, I've gone back and played it since then. I've just learned to love the game. I think it's really good. Um, and I hope they remaster it soon. I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, they need to. Um, yeah, uh, number four. This is tough. Four and five could go either way, but I think number four I'm going to go with Black Ops 3 because I had to throw a jetpacking game in there because that's really where I took off. Like, Black Ops 3 is when I started, like, doing... like. I think in that game, I was playing competitive more than I like played in like public match or anything. The first game I really started doing that, and it was like the greatest time of my life for COD. I think like outside of Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three, I like just had the most fun because I was like, I usually wouldn't say this, but I was so good at that game. <laughs> and it just was like. I, I just ran with it. Like, I just enjoyed every part of it. So, and I still go back and play that game in the off season because I love it that much. Um, but the number five would be probably Need for Speed Most Wanted. I think that game is, like, very underrated. I think it's very underrated. Just because people think it's, like, a car game, you can't do anything, whatever. I, I don't care, dude. I love that game. Like, for some reason, it was good. I don't know why. For some reason, they made it good, so... That's my top go hit five. the jumps. You gotta just go hit all the jumps you can. Go yeah. back and forth. It's so so fun. If you guys haven't played Need for Speed Most Wanted, check it out. It's a fun game. 100%. Dude, another honorable mention. I don't know if anyone played this, but Skate Three. That's a, that mm. a great game. Oh yes. That's oh, literally yes. just like all the ones we just said. Yeah. It's just like GTA. Just like I mean, kind of not like Minecraft, but like in <laughs> yeah. Minecraft. This is why I feel like Minecraft is the start of all that, though. Like it's a world yeah. game, right? So right. That's what I think. Yeah. It's cr- yeah. Skate 3 is a really cool game. I, yeah. I like to watch I watched agree. it probably more than I played it. <laughs> yeah, I was the same yeah. way. I was the same way. I, I barely played yeah. it, but I watched it so much. Yeah, I sucked at yeah. the tricks. Kyle Morn, out if you're watching out there, <laughs> it's his favorite game of all time. So fun Shout fun. out Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> also one of the funniest games I've ever watched. For some reason I cry laughing funny. every time oh, I watch yeah. it. Skate <laughs> three, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Hall of Meat challenge is so funny. You just, <laughs> you just like launch yourself off of. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. Get hurt. <laughs> that's, that's all I would do. That's I would just try to like, I would just try to hurt myself every single. Yeah. That sounds so bad, but that's what I try it to is. do. Like if you can't do it in real life, might as well use the video game to hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, on that note, guys, we're running out of time here. Um, but. Does anyone else got anything to say? I thought that was a... This was probably my favorite episode so far. I thought that was super fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Um, and I already, I already got some ideas for next week. But next week, um, we'll, we'll be back, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, this little podcast, and all the content we're pumping out. Stay tuned for Jacob's intro video coming out Tuesday of this week and then we're gonna then it's gonna be normal content you know what i mean then we're gonna get uh some cod content some jacob uh miscellaneous some jason music and i'm running the forecast for now so stay tuned for all that stuff um and yeah we'll see you guys next week
Peace out.